Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use some basic commands within Minecraft. This sheep here is called Derek. Say hi sheep. Thank you. Um, wait, did you actually say hi? You are a good sheep. Anyway, without any further ado, uh, let's get into the video. You see cutscenes ahead of what each part is and I'll probably put timestamps in the description of where each part is. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so first up I'm going to show you how to use the summon command. This command lets you spawn in any creature. So what you want to do is put slash summon, kind of self-explanatory. Then you want to select the creature, so what should we go for? Should we go, hmm, we'll go for a sh cat. I was about to say shoe, but we'll the answer. Here you put in the coordinates you want, which you can see your actual coordinates if you press F3. I'll show you that in a second, but you can also, if you're on keyboard, just press tab three times, it puts your coordinates in automatically. That's what those little lines represent. So summon Minecraft cat, if I press enter now, you should have a cat. Hello. Did you just meow? Okay. In case you're not wondering, I do speak fluent cats, so I understood what he's saying. Look, see? Now you can just repeat the command and spawn a bunch of them in. It obviously works with other mobs. In fact, this is going to be a bit more of the random one that I doubt they'll still have in. If they have in, it'll be very cool. Let's have a look. What a giant. Oh, they do. Oh yeah, this is a little Easter egg one, the dragon. You can also spawn the Ender Dragon if you know what you're doing. But yeah, oh yeah, I was going to say with S3, I'll probably circle under the editing where you see the coordinates where it says X, Y, Z, and the coordinates which I work away with them. X the took a screenshot, did not mean to do that. Anyway, so that's the first part, now on to the next command. Alright, hello. This next part is on the slash kill command. So it's probably the smaller segment because it's pretty self explanatory and there's not much more. All you have to do is type slash kill. Then what do you want to kill? So at A means all players, at E means all everything, including all entities and items, I think. Um, P, I can't remember. R means random, and S means yourself. I wouldn't. I hope you wouldn't be planning to kill yourself in Minecraft or real life. But anyway, so let's just say for example we do slash E. I shouldn't die from this because I'm creative. There's, I did die and it worked. But if you also look, why am I over here now? All the mobs are dead. Like you can see the chicken died here for example. So that's pretty much it for this one. I told you it would be a short one. Anyway, moving on to, I have no idea yet, but you'll know when you see it. Okay, next up I'm going to show you, ignore that, and next up I'm going to show you how to clear effects. No, that's one thing. I'm going to show you how to teleport. So, it can teleport anything to you and you anywhere, kind of, so you just TP, in this case I'll teleport me, to coordinates, so, let's just, oh, right, so we'll just pull up F3 to see where we are, I mean, I'll give you an example so I can teleport myself. So where are we now? Minus 158.62175 minus 86. So if I just type those in, very common, it doesn't slightly change. So we're going minus 175.621 and um, we'll fill in, we're just going to do the two auto filled in, but you can obviously put different numbers in. And if I press that, I teleported. I thought it wasn't going to work for a second, and that would have been really bad. Anyway. So if you look, I've teleported to somewhere else just like that, typing in the command. That's all you really have to do for it. You can teleport other things to you and yourself to other things. So for example, I can teleport at all entities because I have no friends to teleport to me. So just teleport the mobs and to me, for example, and like that. Uh, how did I just... What mob drops in that? Uh, uh, I don't even know anymore. But yeah, that's an example of them. Meanwhile, let's go back to what I used earlier in the video with the kill at Ollie to just get rid of these things. And myself. Okay, moving on to the next segment whilst I make it day. 
Okay, I realize it might be useful to tell you how to do the time command as well, so I'm going to show you. So you just want to put slash time set. Then they've got the preset, so what should we go for? Hmm. Oh wait, yeah, day. Then sun goes up, but then obviously say I put noon. Yeah, that's why is it? Something should have happened, but it chose not to. What is that? Mushroom, I think. Oh, I don't even know. High village. Um, that's it for the time one. It's not on this one, pretty much. Right, for this next one, I'm going to show you a little two in one one. So you can put slash seed if you like the seed. You know, that's the exact seed. And if you want to go where I am, here's the exact seed, and there's the exact coordinates in the area, which I hope you circled on the editing. If I didn't, I apologise for having awful memory. Then, um, what other command should we do? Oh yeah, it's game mode. This will probably be the last one. Well, game mode as well. I do three in one. It's quite basic. Um, so you do obviously got the different modes of cycle slash game mode, and then you can press tab to cycle through these. So we're obviously in creative at the minute. So let's go to survival. And I don't want to die, so we'll go back into creative quickly. Then we got the game rule. So what we have to do for game rule is slash game rule. Pretty self-explanatory. Then you got a low list like announcements, where we in the chat, for example, raise with the attack. You can toggle all these many different things. And there's a lot. Like I said, there is a lot of them. Go back to the top. So for example, if we do um, Ban mob spawning. We put false. False in. You have to read it. it Says like you do. You put false if you don't want it to happen. True, so you do. So, game rule do mob spawning is that's up to false. So mobs can't spawn. So if I get a spawn egg, what's this one? Axolotl. We ignore that ever happens. So, after some thorough analysis, I realise. I mean, some mobs can't spawn naturally, and not when I kill them. Spawn them in with an egg. Go away, creeper. So, we ignore what happened, and we move on. Alright, then, this will be the last little bit of the video. Where we do the slash... Fill, give command. So, the slash give, all you have to do is... Quite a type of Who you want to give it to, so we get it to me in this case. I'm the one on the world. You got every single block in the game, so and like different variations of it. See, I what? That doesn't make sense. Anything you can craft, basically, like, and anything that drops, like any single item, which I already said. I don't know any. Oh, but yes, it is quite a lot. Let's go for a Minecraft Netherite sword, for example. You have to under you have to underscore in between them though, so rather than spaces for this, because that's how it said I believe the file name. Then you get it. So then now I've got a nice old netherite sword. Let's just find a mob quickly to murder. And I got rid of mob spawning. So let's get an egg quickly. Um, like this. Um, if you just. I can't kill him, that's not, that's not fair. Um, no, no, Hoglins can die. Then now... It's dead. Like that. Whoops. But yeah. So, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you did and liking the video if you want to see more Minecraft stuff. And I'll be back at some point, probably not for another year with another video, not necessarily on Minecraft, I might look at doing some VR stuff in fact, VR Minecraft I might do that, you have to see in what week or so, stay tuned goodbye